it's a, it's a battle. As I stated last week, that each, each one of us that has made a conscious decision to make Jesus your Lord and God your Father have entered into a spiritual realm as well as spiritual warfare. When we were in our mess, when we were in the kingdom of darkness, it would appear that the enemy was not concerned about me because he had me. That the real battle or the understanding of battle was not until I came out of darkness into the marvelous light that I really thought that I had it going on until I found out I wasn't going nowhere until I met him. And when I met him, I found out that all those years I was just spinning my wheels, that I wasn't going in the right direction because when you are in darkness, it has you at a place that you will get complacent with where you are because you can't see. I've come to find out that once I made a conscious decision and the enemy realizes that I have a real destiny outside of him, then he rages war against me. And his main thing is that is because he can't turn God against you, he will try to turn you against God. That the real struggle and the real battle and his real tricks is really not about you and him, but it's really about you and God. And it is a battle because he is the prince of the air. And so one of the things that he uses and one place that he battles with you is in the spirit of your mind. Because if he can get your attention to talk to you, he will literally battle and wrestle with you in your thoughts. He will always make you think that things are worse than they are, that, that you are not what God said that you were, that, that you're not that anointed, that, that you're just called but not chosen. He will always call you to think beneath what God has called you to. And I'm beginning to understand more and more that before the battle can manifest itself in my life, the battle, first of all, has to happen in the spirit realm. In other words, there's a battle that's up above your head. You, you, you got to catch that. You have to understand that even before sickness can enter your body, there has to be a battle over you in the heavenly realm. Mm, because if you don't understand the battle up above your head, then you will always think that it's a personal thing about your flesh. Mm, because there's two things that's going on. There's your carnal man, and then there's your spiritual man, which brings me to my first point. I told you I wasn't going to be long. Which brings me to my first point, and the first point is your carnality is not your reality. Mm, I, I am not what I'm going through. I, I, I am not the sickness that you see me fighting because what I'm beginning to understand is in my carnal, I always want to take things at face value. But when I can look beyond my carnal into the spiritual, I realize that the root behind what I'm going through is the attack of who I am in the spirit realm. Uh, and if you listen to him, Watch this, because most of us that don't been through a sickness that is terminal, the first thing that, that happens when the doctor come and say, this is what you have. The first thing he prints in our mind is, you finna die. But, but can I tell you something? That if you are in the spirit realm, no matter how severe the battle is, you understand that I shall live and, and not die because now I understand that this you may attack my body, but you will not attack the spirit of my mind. Because if I understand nothing else, I understand that if I can put my mind on him, then I can be what he said I can be. I'm going to have what he said I can have. I'm going to go where he said that I could go. But I have to battle to go against, to tell my flesh, to tell my carnal mind that wherever I am in life, this is not my reality. And so the thing is, 
He uses tricks in our mind. Yeah. You get a problem so deep that you think about it when you woke. And when you have the nerve to fall asleep, he'll always show you the outcome before the outcome ever comes because he wants to master your mind because if he masters your mind he can suck you of your faith and if he sucks you of your faith he can suck you of your destiny tell your neighbors a battle watch this not only is it a battle in your mind but even when you say that you have reached a place where I'm going to do what God say do can I tell you what happened you end up just like the apostle Paul in the ninth chapter of Rome he says look there's a battle between my flesh and my spirit he says the stuff I don't want to do he says my flesh will not fall subjective to my spirit. He says, me and God is wrestling. My spirit is wrestling against my flesh, and I know what I need to do. I know what I want to do. I know what I have a desire to do, but how to do it. 